him, folks. He must have been born on a highway because that's where most accidents happen. Oh! Time to talk about another one of the new Spongebob episodes, and this video will be specifically reviewing Chef Bob. Is it funny? Should you watch it? These questions and more will be answered very soon, but anyway, that's all for this intro. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys- oh wait, this is the beginning of the video. Are you ready, kids? Because we're about to dive into the review. I don't know why the intro to this video is so long, but let's just go. In this episode, when Mr. Krabs puts in an open kitchen, SpongeBob gets stage fright and has to invent a new persona. This new persona turns out to be none other than Chef Bob, a paper bag designed to look like everyone's favorite enthusiastic sponge and act like him too. Right away, the idea for this story isn't super original because SpongeBob already did a puppet kind of thing in the season 4 episode Squidward, but let's move past that because, of course, in a show that goes on this long, some plots won't be entirely unique. The setup of Chef Bob is interesting though, since Mr. Krabs decides to to put SpongeBob's fry cooking routine on display for all the folks in the restaurant. Okay, side note, the animation when he's doing all these tricks with the patties and the classic routine is so satisfying to watch. Just look at it, look how satisfying it is! When it's revealed that everyone loves this new paper bag bearing a strong resemblance to Spongebob, the rest of the episode explores this new character. Now you may be thinking, new character, what? It's just the same sponge we've been seeing since the beginning of the series, right? Well, technically yes, but Chef Bob begins to take on his own personality to become a sentient being apart from Spongebob. Eventually, Chef Bob starts cooking and surprisingly roasts people. My favorite by far has to be this line. Been born on a highway because that's where most accidents happen. Yeah! How exactly did this appear in an episode of SpongeBob? I have no idea, but it's amazing. This storyline heads in a nice direction of Spongebob versus his bag puppet, and then it ends with an all-out war between the two. If we're talking about the plot alone, it isn't too bad and sets itself aside from the other plots in the series that may feel like a similar concept. But how's the comedy of the episode? Honestly, it's pretty on point throughout. Maybe it's a bit slow in the beginning when not as many jokes are being set up, but when Chef Bob comes into existence and interacts with the Krusty Krabs customers, be ready for some awesome jokes. He roasts everyone, including himself. A decent amount of modern, post-sequel era episodes go through a typical pattern for me. I think of them as solid, nothing too bad, just nice storylines that I probably wouldn't care to go back and rewatch. Luckily, the same can't be said with Chef Bob. I don't think this is simply a solid episode, in fact it's better than average. The nice visual expressions of the characters along with fluid animation, the entertaining story, and the great humor makes Chef Bob an easy episode to recommend for anyone who doesn't typically watch modern Spongebob. It's sad to know that this got the lowest amount of viewers in the entire show with just over a million people watching it live because it may be the best one in the batch of new episodes last week. Still, you may be wondering about the negative parts to the storyline and I'd probably say that the beginning is pretty slow until we actually meet the brand new puppet bag character. That's not too big of an issue though, especially when you know that the rest of the episode more than makes up for the introduction. The pace finally picks up, making it more fun and you'll hopefully have a nice time watching. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and comment below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.